right, so I have got my uh, takeaway, which I made. Which is not gonna. Which is um, stir fry noodle with Thai green curry with mole, which is really good for your egg and pain. So I got that. As you can see. So, got my takeaway ready for my friends and also cut and colour for two and then I should be there for about six till about eight um, and then and then I'm going to my other friend's house to do some more just cut and then uh, a little bit relax with my friend and catch up what happened and stuff like that and that's what my day is today um, really looking forward to that um, my electric run out halfway through my washing my friend have transferred me the 17 pound but I have to I can't get the 17 pound out I can only get like 10 pound so that means I can't top up my electric um, I could ask my other friends but um, I'm not too sure because um, yeah I could ask my other friend but you know my my mission is not to ask but if I have to then I will um, just quite relaxed now do the dinner was quite exciting because um, it was really really nice uh, I forgot that my friend brought me one of these uh, rechargeable light where you just touch it and the light come out and he brought me six of that or was it four could be four and i forgot that i got that so i didn't really need a light it's just my washing machine that i'm a bit worried about and my bus is here now so just yeah i'm really excited it's just like put your education into practice and then get the treasure really busy see I can't really let you see the number plate because you actually can get them for that so that's why I had to do it quite fast uh, right um, let's get out to a pound because normally it's a high street what does that mean why is it so high street some reason, um, oh, the number 8, this one, doesn't go there, and why is it maybe look like that? Um, let put your... Do you know what I find it really fascinating is that my aerial manager thinking that I stole the electric in the hallway I'm not too sure what made she think that I need to do that because any of my friends will lend me loads of cash I could go to any of my friends my next door to charge up my phone I just like obviously you know to believe in God you can't go around stolen people's stuff and you can't lie either because lie and a murderer will be eternal to et eternal life will be burning forever feeling so it's no way I would want to be like that I work so hard to be like good person and these particular person are trying to paint me into a different picture which is completely um, weird because 
you know, I take a picture of myself, a video of myself every day, I record my diary every day. It seems like she know about me more than I know about myself, which is quite bizarre. So, now I'm just standing here, I'm going to go to my friends and I'm going to charge my phone there. And whether I will be able to get time to get electric for my um, phone or for my washing machine is another question. I don't know, I'm going to have enough time, um, but it's only one night, so I'm not that worried. I mean, I go without electric before. I mean, I'm only going to go home and go to bed. I can stay around my friend as well if I want to. Um, I already feed my rabbit. I already gave them all the things that they need. I think they'll be fine. And the fox. Um, I need to come home and get the food for the fox. I have leave some chicken fish I have leaves some fish outside but um, sometimes it's not enough because obviously he must have a baby or his wife or well not his wife his, uh, his mother of his child or whatever because um, so I have got some chicken in the box I didn't leave it outside because obviously but what I find it interesting is why would you want to complain about what I put outside my back door? It's just really weird. And when she phoned me, why she mentioned a different address rather than my address? Which made me feel even more um like chorus. Um but the truths will always come out. And I can't wait to make a, a movie about this and I know the people in Thailand will love it and they'll buy the video and the book and go and see it. Um, and I think a lot of refugee, which is pretty much all of us really, will love to watch what I have been done. go to a different country is always nerve-wracking because they have such a different culture like um, in Thailand um, you know if you get caught or um, it, it's just really weird because I don't know like I was in Thailand you don't really have to worry about like what you like, you don't have to worry about um, like I mean I don't know I didn't I didn't remember have any rule I didn't remember anybody had to follow any rule or any but in England it's like so much rule so much it's unbelievable it's just like you can't even breathe you know you can't even go out your house <laughs> which is really weird um, and another bizarre thing I find it quite hilarious is um, like people interpreted you know overreacting is completely irrational emotion to the point where they just only can translate into understanding which how they been raised or terminology of the um, understanding level of English or whatever language they are speaking um, it's a bit like you're giving somebody a job to go and do something and they all gonna they all they can only interpret it into their own understanding or level of their understanding yeah that's the thing and it's just weird like Brightland Sea. Can we get the Brightland Sea bus? I think we might be able to. What is that one? Let's find out. Do they go to. Let's go and ask. Let's go and ask if they would go to Monkey. 
because I can easily walk through there. But there was a guy that we had a big mess of ground, so he might want to murder me.